Are you currently not on the level that you want to be with your aim right now? You know, struggling to hit those important shots that will guarantee you a better chance at winning. But of course, tell me where you watch your motivation guy. That's right, I am back bringing you guys a new video that's going to show you exactly how to get insane aim like your favorite pros like Benji Fishy and Clicks and Mongrel. This video is about to go in depth on how you can train your aim, man, and your keyboard and mouse to hit those vital close range shotgun shots against other players and to help you guys train your medium to long range assault rifle shots. Are you guys ready for this? I'm pumped up. Let's get this going. All right, guys, so the first concept that you need to train to get better aim in Fortnite is click timing. The concept is pretty self-explanatory. So click timing is about timing your mouse clicks to hit when, you know, your crosshair has been moved into the enemy's hitbox. This concept is the core of mouse aiming, right? And should never be overlooked because it's obvious that you need to get better at click timing if you want better aim. Okay, so one easy way to train your click timing if you're an absolute beginner is to go into a match on Fortnite, place a wall and edit six tiles of the wall so that it's only a tall strip of wood metal or brick. Next, stand a good few steps away from it with a shotgun and move your camera from left to right for the same speed the whole way across the screen. And when your crosshair is over the wall, shoot your shotgun. Okay, so the most important part is really moving the mouse at a consistent speed. You know, starting slow as you get better, increasing the speed like this. So you can see if you hit the wall or not, you know, judging by the health of the wall itself. And, you know, you should do this a minimum of 20 times at different speeds. Doing this will train up the core print principle of timing your mouse click instead of just actually moving the mouse to the target itself aim tracking so if you're not a beginner a more intermediate advanced way to train your aim is by using Kovacs 2.0 I always say this all the time on my Instagram at your motivation guy so using Kovacs 2.0 on Steam all right yes it costs a little bit of money but if you're serious about improving your aim you should see this as an investment in yourself you know rather than a cost and so if you didn't know already Kovacs 2.0 is an in-depth aim training video game whose sole purpose really is just to practice your aim and almost every professional Fortnite player used or still uses Kovacs to really freshen up their aims. You know playing some of the most user created levels on Kovacs specifically the ones designed for Fortnite for about 10 to 30 minutes per day all right well it's definitely going to just drastically improve your in-game click timing and your crosshair tracking without a shadow of a doubt. All right so if you guys are looking to take your skills to the next level and I mean like top tier competitors do you want your friends to shiver at the thought of you going against them all right well that's all possible but you got to visit proguys.com to sign up with our 20 percent discount code rank up 2021 and receive insane one-on-one -on -one coaching that's going to make you a fortnite beast all right visit proguys.com and get started today all right so take a look at this clip from mongrel as an example of click timing you know as mongrel seamlessly peace controls around his opponent the enemy player jumps up to try and build a ramp but unfortunately gets stuck in between a wall and mongrel himself in situations like this guys like when you played for as long as mongrel Mongrel has, you can use little details in fights such as the enemy jumping to, you know, perfectly time your clicks as the enemy falls back towards the ground. Since he's learned over time how exactly jumping works and how long the player will be in the air, you know, he can predict where the opponent is going to be by the time he pulls his shotgun out and really shoot him for a lot of damage. All right, so another thing that you're going to need to practice to get better aim in Fortnite is your assault rifle tracking skills. The ability to beam players who are just gliding through the air is just as important as it was back in chapter one, right? So please do not go through your aiming warm-up session without training this one. Again, there are many scenarios you can play on Kovacs 2.0 to really work on your tracking skills. However, for this tip, guys, all right, we think that, you know, some of the Fortnite creative maps that have been made are actually better for training your AR aim. All right, so Raider 464's Aim Dual Map V2 is probably like the only aim training map that you're ever going to need when it comes to AR tracking, as you're going to practice on a real in-game player who is just gliding through the air, trying to dodge your bullets just like they would be in a real match. So not only that, man, but this map also features a ton of shotgun and SMG training areas with 5,000 plus HP, where again, you can practice against a real player who is trying to just weave through all your shots, giving you the most realistic aim practice there can be. So this creative map has worked wonders for people looking to improve their AR tracking aim, so definitely give it a try if you haven't already. Alright guys, so another simple and underrated technique to get better aim is to aim down sights with your pump shotgun instead of just hip firing when, you know, those super close range scenarios. So the more concentrated 
shotgun pellets are going to be closer together and they're going to be able to just deal a lot more damage so the difference in damage when aiming down sights compared to like hip firing with a pump or a spaz shoddy is like 100% worth learning and really ingraining into your muscle memory and as long as you are accurate you're going to be able to finish off your fights just way more effectively all right so flicking or flick shots is another shotgun concept that's going to take you a long way in those high pressure close range scenarios so while flick shotting an enemy for 200 plus damage is flashy and definitely something to be proud of the unfortunate thing is that you know practicing your flicks is just pretty hard to do since they are so unreliable and mainly rely on reflexes and just pure muscle reactions more than anything flick shots are something that you have to just slowly work on over time throughout your aiming career so don't get too worked up guys especially on this aspect of aiming and just mainly try to focus on click timing and trigger discipline more really than anything else however i will say this if you guys do want a way to practice your flick shots you can use literally any aim trainer or creative map and just quickly just flick your mouse from one target to another and just time it just right you know it's a lot harder than a natural click timing because you're moving the mouse so fast and you can't really register all at once unless you have really good reaction time and just eye hand coordination which obviously not everyone has so aside from practicing your aim you know there are a few things that you might want to invest in that can really help your aiming skills go to the next level so here's a short list of what some pros use to help with their mouse aim number one all right obviously a good mouse and so if you have a cheap mouse that isn't really properly registering your movement you're definitely going to want to make a switch number two mouse bungee okay so if you find that your wires are getting in the way of your mouse movements a mouse bungee it can really solve that problem these are going to stand on your desk and hold the mouse wire to give it a constant bit of slack or leverage to allow the wire to move freely okay number three larger mouse pad so if you're on a slower sensitivity a larger mouse pad can assist you if you ever need extra space but your course time it's time for the recap all right so start practicing your mouse flicks guys to really ensure a more precise and consistent aim within all your aims okay start using enemy movements you know like uh, jumps to really predict where they're about to move and just time your shots using that use code I'm telling you 2.0 on Steam to really work on your click timing more and just train your aim. You can also use Kovacs to really warm up before arena or competitions as well. Use creative maps such as Raiders 464 to aim to a map V2 to improve your medium to long range tracking aim with an AR. This is going to help you be able to beam enemies out of the sky when trying to rotate off of a launch pad. Alright, so start aiming down sights more. I mean, I'm definitely telling you, man, it's a short tip, but super important if you want to just start dealing much more damage. Alright, start Start worrying less about your flick shots and train your click timing skills more since flick shots are more about reaction times and reflexes more than anything and finally consider investing in some gear like a mouse bungee to really help you and really assist you with your aim training or just help you know just win you more fights in fortnite in general but your question me that's going to be it for today's video i'm sure that you're going to go to a whole nother level if you guys apply these tips hey if you guys like the video you already know what to do subscribe to the channel spread the word we got so much amazing content coming out and connect me on my instagram at your motivation guy i'm proud of you guys man i really am we are family keep going never quit never surrender don't give into those negative words or those negative labels that people try to put on you you just keep believing in your dream keep believing on what's in your heart and you're gonna make it i'll see you on the next one peace